Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the FNIRSI brand, their DMC-100 digital clamp multimeter with 10,000 counts, voltage average tester up to 600 amps with LED flashlight, AC-DC voltage, AC-DC current, capacitance, resistance, continuity, diode, temperature, non-contact V detection, NCV, which is great, has a one-year warranty. This thing basically does it all. It's the one thing you want to have in your toolbox, your electronics toolbox in your lab, because it does everything. You can see it has this really cool clamp on here, and this is where you put the cable that's going to be measuring DC current or AC current. Also has the NCV non-contact voltage reading right there, and I'm going to test that and show you that. Really, really nice quality, a high-tech, uh, very clear HD display. So this has got a lot of features. I'm going to go over a lot of them on here. You can see on the bottom right here you got AC amps, voltage, ohms, capacitance, frequency, measures even hertz, and then the live on there. You can move through, you could step through all those. Here you see I've got AC and DC, and then I could switch over here. There's voltage right there, AC voltage, and there is resistance or continuity or diode testing. There's capacitance, which is nice, and there's frequency, and there's temperature and there's a probe that's included. Then you got this live mode, not sure what that does at this point, but I've got the, I'm gonna show you all the other modes on here. So, very simple, there's your power switch, there is a save button right there, and a hold button also. Very handy. This is all rechargeable. There is a port right on the back, there is, oh, well, there is the light. So if you wanna turn the light on, you hold that down, and you have a light, so if you're in total darkness, you could actually use the light function. And then on here, it's really simple to charge. There is a port right there and an included USB-A to C cable. Here is the temperature probe that we're going to put on. And then on the bottom of this is where you're going to put your connections. And it also comes with your voltage and current probes on there. So first thing, we're going to do some basic testing. We're going to charge this and we're going to try the temperature first. So here I have the included temperature probe plugged right in. I got the positive on the positive input, the minus on the minus. And I cycle through hertz until I went to hit that button right there, and then it has degrees centigrade right there, and I could touch it, and you see it goes up really quickly. What's nice about a temperature sensor like this is that it's really small, so it has a really quick thermal mass, so that's going to show you temperature changes that are really very quick, and that's great for measuring electronic components, and uh, you want to see the temperature and centigrade that they are. Here I have a power plug that's set to my main, my main meter, 120 volts, my mains, and you can see it's showing me what that is. And if I get a good contact right here, it shows me 123.9 volts AC. And uh, that showed me that my mains are perfect at what they should be. And here's an example. I'm on resistance, and I have a resistance box, and it matches the resistance box that you could go through and you could calibrate and test resistors that are in your drawers, wherever you have them. This is a quick way to check, check the resistance values quite easily. Here's another great tester it has. It has capacitance move across the mode and I've got a capacitance box right here and you can check capacitors make sure that they're calibrated before you use them in the circuit so that's another handy feature it has and another great feature that's used a lot in engineering is just a basic continuity and it has that and all you have to do is test a continuity of something you put them together and it tells you the resistance and it beeps to let you know that you've made a full contact right there really handy to have that and another great feature is diodes so you put it on the diode mode on there and then you can go across the diode if you go in the incorrect direction it shows that there's no continuity and then if you go in the correct direction where you put the positive on the anode and the negative on the cathode then it shows the forward voltage on there shows shows the forward voltage and then it's conducting at 0.55 volts which is really good for let you know what uh, voltage will conduct that diode. And charging this unit is really simple. Take any one amp or greater USB-A uh, output power supply at five volts. Use the included cable or any USB-A to C. Plug it in and it's got a graphical display and this letting you know that it is charging successfully. Here I'm going to do a quick demonstration of using this device. I have an inverter and I have 120 volts output driving a very, very bright LED spotlight over there. And I have a DC battery right here providing the 12 volt input to the inverter. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take some measurements. So you see I'm on amps DC, 
and I can put this right around and you see it has eight positive amps coming out of that battery that run that light. Now if I want to look at the AC portion that is going into the light, which is right there, you have to have the wire separated like that because they will cancel each other if you put the loop around there. So let's go to AC. Let's put that around there like that. And you can see it shows that one amp AC is going to that light. And that is correct. That is the power or the current that's going to that light at 120 volts. Now if I go to another mode on here, hit the mode button. Let's go to... Let's go to the mode right here, which is... You go to live, then you hit the mode button, you go to NCV, which is going to allow you to detect uh, voltages and currents on a wire. Sensor is right there. Let's go on the negative right there. And you see it responds to display and the positive right there. That's on the DC, it's registering that. Then I can go on the AC also, and it's registering the AC. So that's nice if you don't want to have any contact, you don't want to open up the loop, and you just want to measure and see that there is something active, whether it's DC or AC, on the line. That's really handy. Here's another experiment. I have a DC power supply. I'm producing 5.6 volts, 4 amps, 22 watts, going into this very hot, um, low resistance, 5.1 ohm, or 1.5 ohm actually. So what is the current going through there? So let's take the meter, and I'm on DC amps. Let's put it across right there. And look what it shows, 4 3.964. And that is correct. That is the actual current, 4.2. So you see it's very close to the actual current right there. So you're very accurately measuring DC current through that power resistor using this device. There is a live graphical mode on here that you can reach by holding down this mode button. And it works for all the different settings on there that you see. Here I'm in the DC mode, and it's got a graphical interface. So I could actually put this on this DC right there and the line will respond and it will show that step function of that value. It also shows you the value right there and it's also right there. So if I remove that, it jumps back up to that region right there. So it's kind of a graphical uh, display showing you what you're actually reading. It's kind of reverse what you think because the up is uh, negative in this case because of where the wire is. Now let's see if I put it across the negative right there and I get a minus and if I remove it it drops down to the midpoint right there so the nice thing about this is that if you uh, want to get graphical and not look at numbers you can see that there is a graphical change in what you're measuring on and again it works on all these different settings capacitance voltage current amperage really nice so after testing, what do I think about the FNIRSI brand, their DMC100. This thing is excellent. As I demonstrated, it has every function you're going to want to have. It's one thing you want to have in your toolbox, your electronics lab. Basically, you could be testing anything with this thing and walking through and being able to check current without having opened the contact, AC or DC, resistance, ohm capacitance, everything. And it has the cables you're going to need to do all of that successfully. So I'm impressed with the quality of this. Very simple to use. Very straightforward, very accurate. I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.